but I always worked with, as I said, I always worked with having one thing installed on hardware, but you were saying that you were, you had different petitions for your different distros, yeah? Yeah. Have you run into a situation where maybe you selected the wrong petition? Maybe you wiped the entire drive? Like, have you, have you ever accidentally installed over something you shouldn't have had? I shouldn't have done so. Uh, I, I made my data in such a way that, that even if I did, I didn't care. So you weren't so, going to lose your thankfully home. Thankfully, I did. Yeah, uh, I, ho- I did lose my home many times. <laughs> Catch was I didn't have any data in my home. Right. Wait, what do you? I mean? had one partition. I had a. I had a. I had a. I don't know how big a SSD and mm-hmm. a bigger hard drive. Mm-hmm. And that hard drive was was. Uh, shared partition or shared drive between windows and linux always so it was ntfs uh ntfs formatted i had and i had all the data on it wait i'm sorry hold up a second wait wait so i had access to the to all data whether it was on windows or linux or any linux that was my <laughs> My horrible system of doing things, yes. Wait, your main data drive was an NTFS drive on Linux? Yes. <laughs> yes, you, you how can. Was, you how can was the that. NTFS driver back then? Because I know it's not perfect nowadays. Like... <laughs> uh, working. That, that's simply that. It was working. Okay. Never broke for me. Mm-hmm. It was... That, <laughs> I have to say, it was great. It, it worked. I, 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 I don't believe that it was great. I believe that it was working. It was working. It had all normal speeds you would expect for a SATA 3, uh, two and a half inch drive. And mm. that was all was, I was expecting. Jesus. It worked. <laughs> so stupid. Let, let's just say my goal was having all data accessible on any on any OS I put it into. I guess and you technically achieved that. that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's just say after after I switched off that laptop, I never did that architecture again. <laughs> yeah, I I hope not. That that seems like a recipe for disaster. Yeah. I'm surprised that, did anything ever like bad ever happen to that drive or did it survive the entire oh. time? No, it's just fine. It's still in that. It's it's the main drive in that laptop currently. Wow, that's actually kind of impressive. Or no, no, actually it isn't. I removed it. Mm-hmm. It's actually now my main backup drive in my desktop. <laughs> Please tell me it's not still NTFS. Yes, it is. <laughs> but it isn't. Uh, but it isn't actually uh, loaded into Linux so, unless I. I manually do it because the point of that that thing right now mm-hmm. is that if I, whether it be Windows or Linux, I need to make a backup. Mm-hmm. I just uh, zip, tar, whatever, everything, mount the drive. Of course, I first have to uh, plug it in because it's always unplugged. Mm-hmm. Yep, because yep. it's me. I, I like to th- make things harder for myself. <laughs> I go, I plug it in, mount it, put uh, the zip or tar file on it, uh, unmount, shut down the computer, unplug it, and that's it's it's 15 minute operation per every few months, mm-hmm. unless I have to clean it up because I waste I filled the two terabyte space, so then I first clean it up, so it's a half an hour operation. Is that a SSD or a mechanical drive? It's a hard drive. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> One half inch. When you said it's yeah. not mounted, I, when you said it's not mounted, I thought you were going to say it's not mounted on Windows, and then I was, I was, <laughs> I was gonna it's have... not mounted anywhere okay. unless I'm, I'm copying into it. I unmount it. Okay, okay, and then and unplug it because it's backup drive now. Sure, sure. I'm like, is that your only backup drive? Because that seems like a bit of an old drive. It's. Six-year-old drive, yeah. Yes, is that... uh, I have one that that is actually older. <laughs> it is 
Wait, how old is that drive? 11 years. <laughs> At least yeah. that's not part oh, of your ten. backup solution ten. as well. It is. <laughs> but that, that drive is for backups of um, things I have somewhere else as well. Right, it's right. A secondary backup. Okay, okay. Redundancy is fine. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. So is that your I own? I have it mainly. So is what? What is your your backup system right now? Like how how if you want to back up your system, you want to back up something. What is the process that you end up taking? Uh, everything that isn't absolutely cannot hit internet or in any way, I don't want it to hit the internet. Mm -hmm. Goes on, I. Goes on both drives, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or at least the one that is in my computer. Everything that can hit the internet is zipped up or tarred up and put into a cl uh, private cloud storage. Uh, okay. Is that Nextcloud uh, or is that something blob, else? Blob, sto blob storage, non, uh, no application specifically. It's cloud, cloud, okay. cloud. Okay, I okay. AWS, S3, or whatever. GCP. I'm not telling which one it is. Sure, sure, sure. No, it fair is enough. One, but it is one of the big three. Sure. You just dump it on there and then it just exists. Yeah. Okay. Exists What's on it? there. It's private. Mm -hmm. Encrypted. I don't care. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's... And then if you need to, like, just grab something from that, you just pull it down and then... Hope, hopefully yeah. you don't need to use it. But, you know, it's, it's just going to be there. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's mostly... Mostly things I already have somewhere else because everything that is able to hit the internet is probably my source code, and that is probably on my personal GitLab. Right, server, right. So 